everyone. My name is Patrick Frawley and today you join me here at our Class UK headquarters in Saxon. And in this video we are going to talk about our Isobus control on our Cebus machines. So you join me back up in the cab of our Cebus machine, looking at some of the settings and adjustments that we can make in relation to our Isobus function. Well firstly, if we pop across to our Isobus UT display, we can see here firstly we have our tractor display, telling us what function keys are controlling what functions. And secondly, we can see our implement that we have plugged into the back end of the machine. So we can see here the state of our fertilizer spreader, how much weight is in it, what our spread width is set to and so on. And we can see then our function key set up here, or our soft keys I should say. We have also an acknowledge button here on the top, and we can have our soft keys displayed out on the right hand side of the display to easily use them when we rest our hand on the screen. So what other settings and adjustments can we make? Well, if we close this, we now can see we have a dedicated Isobus UT menu on the right hand menu cluster. By popping in here, we see we have a further three sub-menus. We have our object pools, which gives us a list of the implements that are connected and have previously been connected to the machine. We can see an assignments tab, which we can use to make assignments to control function keys to control the implement on the back end of the machine. So you can see here, we have a couple of those made already. And you can see then a settings submenu, which is used to fine tune how the system runs. So we can change our UT number and our generation. So for example, if we needed to control an aux old implement rather than new, or if we had a couple of different UT terminals within the cab. You can see also we have our UT main switch, so turning off our Isobus in this screen if we needed to. In our auxiliary assignments tab, how do we make a new assignment? Well, if I press on my plus button, it is essentially a step-by-step -step process. So by tapping on my start wizard icon here, firstly I choose my tractor. I then choose the assignment for the function key, so we'll say F6 in this example. It then asks me to select the implement and then the function on the implement. So maybe I want to increase my spread width there. It gives me an overview, I then tick that and you can see it's assigned to my list of functions. Within the object pools, if I no longer have an implement that I no longer need, I can tap on it and I can have a little bit of information about it or I can further delete that as well. So, thank you for watching everyone, I hope it helped. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact your local dealer and please feel free to watch some of the other videos in relation to your own specific machine.